Welcome back, this is Nate Middleman playing Europa Universalis 4, Quest for the Big Blue Blob. Um, so, now we're just waiting, waiting for about 1460 for our truce with Aragon to, to end in June of 1460. Let's start bringing our troops down there. Oh, we lost his ability. That's not good. That puts us at negative ability, actually, so we need to bump it up. Oh, right. Aragon attacked Naples for a restoration of their personal union. Well, if they don't get it done in two years, then they're out of luck, I think. I will not give them... Oh, Naples already has... Wait, I'm gonna... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to... I'm gonna revoke military access so that Aragon can't go through me to attack Naples. I believe I don't give military access to... No. Okay. Okay, so this way Aragon can't go through me to attack Naples. Let's go ahead and improve our relationship with Austria now. These are probably... No. These are guys are all asking for access for me. No. Oh no, one of our military leaders died. This is actually the, the one that's not as... This is our better one. The This guy with the three siege leader, he's the much better leader. And our rebels in Georgia should. Huh, I'm actually blockading some rebels. That's funny. Um, they should uh, revolt any time now. I hope they revolt before my guys in Serbia do. I'm going to have to watch that. I may actually. Crap. I'm actually going to bring my army over here to Serbia. So start taking these guys over. Uh, I actually need to wait to attack Aragon until my rebels revolt. They should attack before... Um, before the truce is up. Or the, the, they should revolt before the truce is up, but I can't be sure. Uh, sure, we'll, we'll get some yearly prestige. We still have that mission to improve prestige, although I'm I'm more and more doubting that's going to happen. It looks like Aragon was able to get over here anyways, so it looks like Naples is going to be in the personal union by the time I attack. Our cores are starting. Oh, I need to claim some more uh, on Austria. What do I have claimed so far? So let's start with claiming this one. Because I know I want that one for sure. It's the... The Belieres. Okay. And my rebels still haven't fired. That's... We'll see. Yeah, Naples will be under the person in a personal union by. Uh... Oh no, not yet. Actually, who who's on whose side? Ah, so Aragon is against everyone. Aragon has no one on their side. Naples is the one. They have a bunch of people on their side. Okay, so that's actually good for me. Because I don't want Naples to be in a union. I want to be able to attack them separately after I attack Aragon.
Okay, uh, so our Serbian provinces are cored now. This will reduce unrest a tad bit. Let's bring this over. So now all of our provinces are cored, correct? Yeah, zero over extension. Even if my rebels don't fire I'm not going to bring my army back I'm just going to declare war and have Castile siege all of Aragon plus this one province I'll do that one myself Which is looking more and more like it's going to happen. What's our force limit? Uh, we're way below our force limit, so we can start hiring some some guys. Yeah, that's good. So we have 16 over here, 14 over here, and it'll be... Actually, no, I'll build 7. So 10 over here. That'll give me four, bring me up to 40. That's good enough. Wait, one of our advisors died. Um, diplomatic relations isn't that good. I think I'm going to go ahead. I have plenty of income. I'm going to go ahead and hire this guy. And I'm going to hire that guy. We have plenty of money. And money isn't really important to me this, this campaign. Because, again, I am going to be taking out a bunch of loans near the end to support a army larger than I could normally support. Because I won't ever have to pay the, the money back. And in, interest means also... Inflation also means next to nothing. Okay, so there's our army there. Let's look at the coalition map mode. See See what it looks like right now. Yeah, our aggressive expansion has gone down in a lot of provinces. Most of them are going to be out of coalition range fairly shortly. Uh, taking more provinces in our Aragon won't help, but I highly doubt I'm going to get a coalition war against me at this point in time, or any, t or any time in the near future. Okay, so it's July of 1460, which means we should be able to actually annex him now. Yeah, I should have started that a little bit earlier. Starting the annexation before the war. And I'm going to... I could claim one more province, but I'm just going to... Declare war. Uh, as soon as I have the chance. Are they still at war with... Yes, they're still at war with them. Austria asking for another marriage is fine. And this should only take about eight months. Oh, crap. Lambord. That's up here somewhere. Where is that? Oh, it's down over here. Okay. I wonder if my... At my no. I was thinking maybe my vassal might might attack them. Let's go ahead and move our leader over. And these guys still haven't revolted. That's actually kind of annoying. Okay, so they revolted there in... Well, that's annoying. I'm now going to have to annex them. It, will that cancel annexation? I don't think it will. I'm still going to have to go deal with them, which will be annoying. May, so let's start by putting our, well, at least this fort up. I don't think we need any other forts up to attack Aragon.
So let's see, who's going to join? Oh, Castile won't join. Oh, they will join as soon as the... I actually have to wait till the end of the month. I don't know why. It says my truce is up, but I have to wait one more month. Make sure there's still no fort here. No. They're not building one either. No. Okay. Okay. Now I can attack. Portugal and Switzerland will both join. I have to be a little worried about Switzerland. But... Huh. Did Austria change their rivalry towards Aragon? Probably. Yeah, they must have changed it over to either Venice or Bohemia. Let's see. Castile will help, so that's all that really matters. And I want Calig Calgliari to be the, the war goal. Because they actually made a fort up here in Barcelona, which is annoying. Level 2 for it. I'll be able to siege it down pretty quickly, though. Yeah, we're going to win this pretty easily. And Navarra, Navarra is actually now a, a vassal of Castile. Portugal and Switzerland did join, but the army size is still only 30, which is half. But much bigger than I thought it would be. Okay, so I don't actually have... Okay. Now here's something interesting. Switzerland might be able to get uh, passage through Austria, but I don't think they will be able to get it through uh, Savoy because they're rivals. And I, since I don't have... Actually... I'm going to go ahead and cancel it. I don't want Switzerland to attack me if at all possible. So we'll see. They may or may not get access through Austria, which means I do need to actually put these forts up, though. Okay, so we siege down the war goal pretty quickly. Not really a surprise there. Who is Bo Bosnia at war with? Oh wait, with Aragon. I'm really actually unhappy that the rebels didn't fire this, uh, soon enough. Two of them are sitting at 90. And I'm just waiting to fire so I can move them back into useful positions. Oh, look, Castle broke their siege. Okay, so we've sieged down Barcelona. And we've actually integrated France, or, uh, East Frisia. So now I have to go deal with those rebels over there. Okay, so now I'm, I'm in range of actually fabricating a claim on Denmark, which is nice. Because I don't really want to take anything from Denmark, but by declaring war on Denmark, I'm also declaring war on... Oh, crap. Sweden, actually, Sweden and Norway broke free from Denmark. I wonder why that happened. But that's okay. Norway will still get called in. I guess I'll take uh, this province up here. Um, it's a low, low development province and it connects me to both Sweden and Norway so we'll start actually fabricating a claim over here on this province
How many... How big is this? This is level 3? Yeah, I'll be able to take it with 10 guys. Okay. And I can't actually... I can't actually piece those guys out because I'm at war. Which is a little frustrating. I'll have to go deal with them eventually. I'll leave them alone for now. Oh no. I think Portugal's gonna take this fort. No, they're not. Okay, they're headed away. Let's actually just, let's activate a few more forts just in case. It looks like sweet Switzerland isn't moving at all. Okay, uh my ally is going to my vassal is gonna lose a uh, battle for me, which is not good. And the rebels still haven't fired. Which is almost ridiculous. The chance of that happening is so low. Them not actually... Finally it happened. Okay, so let's go... And I don't actually have a general to lead them. So I'm actually gonna... I'm actually gonna get a new general. Not a very good one. I didn't expect one, but a, one gen uh, a general is better than no general. This one might actually be close. Oh, we're gonna. Are we gonna lose this? No. Oh my god, we lost a battle versus rebels that we outnumbered two to one. I pr probably because I attacked at low morale into probably this is probably mountainous territory hill yeah highlands we're gonna have to wait at least another tick for these guys to, to regroup I'm just gonna watch these guys very closely if they move somewhere I'm gonna try to beat them to their destination Okay. And inform a reform is done. That's good, I guess. Can I beat them over here? No, I can't. But this is forest instead of highlands, which is better for me. Uh, slightly. I'll wait one more month and then attack. Oh crap, they may or may not siege that down. Okay, no, they didn't before I attacked. And they're gonna lose this one, okay. All good now. I now have five cardinals, okay. Oh, and these guys aren't actually going to give me that province because they have a claim on it, which is actually annoying. I actually should have I should have realized that and tried to siege it down first. So we got our claim versus Denmark, which is good. I don't know how soon we'll be able to attack them, but it will come eventually. I'm going to go ahead and I don't know if I'm going to attack Naples yet. I might just go straight for Denmark next. Okay, perfect. Okay. 
bring these over here to deal with this little army since they're right there. So let's see let's see what we want. We want definitely How much is this is 12? This is 9. No, this is 14. 9. Can I take all of this? I can. It will give me quite a bit of aggressive expansion. Um, but Genoa, I don't. Papal State and Genoa, I don't think are ever going to leave. Province, actually, Province Genoa aren't even really big enough to worry about. Siena, Siena would. I think. I think Siena is new, but that's right here. That's a one province minor, I think. Yeah. I think I can get away with taking all of that. Actually, what is this over here? Actually, I want this, actually. Oh, no, that's Naples. I did want this, though. That would leave Aragon with one, two... Three, four, five, six provinces. Should I take, try to take this one too? That would be a little too much. I think I'm going to... I think I'm just going to take these ones actually. No, I have a claim on that, right? No, I don't. problem is, is if any rebels no I can just go through Castile yeah if any rebels fire Castile might even actually take care of the rebels for me that's what I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for one two three four five six provinces I'm going to feed actually these two folks though and then I'm gonna integrate them so let's transfer transfer And now the problem with this is Castile won't actually like me. Oh no, they will because I took provinces from a rival. Normally they won't like me because I didn't give them an occupied claim. Okay, so now I just need to basically beat Aragon. Oh crap, they have an, a navy right here. I will probably need to retreat from this. More than likely. So I can I can retreat now, which I'm going to do. I already lost one one galley, or no one light ship. Actually, no, I lost one galley. They lost one light ship. So it was about even losses there. Let's gain that prestige. I don't really care about papal influence. Um, and I really... Well, we'll wait. No, we won't. I'm thinking I'm going to end this episode right here. Uh, because this war is going to go on for a little bit longer and it's time. So, like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.